Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This week, I thought I would just do a vlog. I have had a bit of a busy week and things are delayed, so I thought I would just do a little bit of a catch up with you guys. I have a really, really busy day ahead. I've actually already done a fitting. I have shot a reel and now I'm getting ready because I need to go into London, which I haven't done in probably a year. I haven't been anywhere near central London. I've actually got a meeting. Um, it's a casting, um, something I do on the side of blogging and everything else I do is fitting. I think the best thing these days is to have your fingers in many pies so that if one thing crumbles or fails, then you have other things that you can, that will hold you up. So this is just one of the things that I do. So I have that casting. So I'm going to take you guys with me into London and get the casting done. And then I'm going to come back. I've got a few things to unbox with you that I think you'll find interesting. And then I'm just going to make some dinner. Stefania will get home and we'll just see where the day takes us. But I've just finished getting ready and thankfully my face looks okay. So the other day I had an allergic reaction to a vegan chocolate bar. Now this is a subject I really wanna go more into depth with and I won't too much on today's video, but I am going to, it's in the plans. But I basically had a vegan chocolate bar. One of my friends kindly bought it for me. It wasn't her fault at all. It was my fault because I didn't look at, did you just see that happen to my TV? That's so odd. Um, what was I saying? I didn't look at the ingredients on the packet, so it was my fault. Just because it says vegan, it doesn't mean healthy. And this particular chocolate bar that I'm gonna pop here so you guys can see, I think it's called Nomo or Nomo. They've also got Easter eggs. I should have known better, I really should have, because I think I had that conversation about the Easter eggs of Stefania, she said, don't touch that chocolate, even though it says vegan. Anyway, I had the chocolate and my entire neck area swelled up. I couldn't touch it, it was really, really sore. And then I got these huge lumps. You can probably still see them. There's a little bit left here. It's more sort of just like scabbing now, but they were just oozing and oozing water for the whole night. I did get a bit scared. I did think, oh crap, am I gonna have to go to the emergency room? I had some stuff. I don't know if you watched my Italian vlog in the Amalfi Coast, the same thing kind of happened to me. And they gave me something called Rubius Nero, which I think was black currant, pure black currant, when I had an allergy and it's completely natural. So I took a ton of that. I took some medicinal mushrooms and what else did I have? Um, oh, and I rubbed tea tree all over my face and I woke up the next morning and I was fine. And thankfully my face has gone down, but I'm gonna put a video or picture here of what my face looked like. And even this morning, it still looks like that. But the wonders of makeup, and this is vegan makeup by the way, and it's toxic free. So those of you that think that this kind of makeup isn't as good as the regular stuff, oh my God like compared to that it does a good job it's actually i'll show you guys which one it is i live by this concealer it's the air perez um, and it's called the arnica concealer i'm using shade chai at the moment in the winter because my skin's slightly lighter but oh my god guys this concealer and also with this concealer i must have mentioned it before in one of my videos it has healing ingredients in it so when you put it on your skin so say you do have a zit or a blemish or anything it actually heals while it's on. So it's doing more good than bad. And anything regular that you put on your face that has chemicals, that's just gonna aggravate and it's just gonna ruin your skin in the long run. So this, it happened again. That never happens. Something's going on. My non elvira has been about, I swear. Last night, something came up. And also yesterday, my dad called me and said that he got um, a letter for his vaccine, it's happened again, his vaccination letter. And the day that he was supposed to go in was his birthday. And the doctor that signed off that letter, her name was Elvira, and that's my nonna's name, that's his mum's name. So she's been she's been showing her herself. And I think that's what she's doing right now because this never happens. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready because I need to get out the door very soon. I've rambled enough. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys soon. The weather is just crazy at the moment. Last night, the winds were insane. My door kept opening and closing. I could feel it coming through the windows. And now the sun's starting to pop out. So getting dressed is gonna be difficult. So I've got all black on and I'm wearing my black jacket, which 
Might not be a good idea if it rains, but I'm only going to the station and then into the building and then back into the station and then to the house. But for fittings, you need to wear leggings and a vest top, which I've got underneath this polar neck. Um, so you can be measured easily. So yeah, I've got a polar neck on. This one's from Free People. It's very comfortable. And leggings are Lululemon and the top is Lululemon as well underneath, but you can't see it. It's just a standard racer back top. So, and then I've got my trainers on so I can run around London. If it rains, I can run, <laughs> but I'm ready to go. Hello, monkey. Hello. I'm really sorry, but I have to move you. You need to go outside in the wind. He absolutely hates the wind. Don't you, Tommy? I'm sorry. You're going to have to go outside. I have to leave. Come on, Tommy. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Tommy. Let's go. Here we go. Brace yourself, Tommy. It's windy out there. The weather today is insane. It's windy, it's sunny, it's warm, but it's cold, it's raining. Everything's happening right now. It's so nice to be out. I haven't been into central London since I think Christmas, before Christmas. So this will be interesting. The first signs of spring. Petals on the trees. I've literally been windswept. How am I gonna look turning up to this casting? <sighs> I look like a scarecrow. By the wind. Oh, get me home. I am so pleased to be home after the wind has just spent most part of the day pushing me around. So I'm gonna get myself organized and make some food. I've made myself presentable after what the wind did to me. I am not putting a hairbrush through my hair. No, no, no gonna take me forever so I've just popped it back and I have got some packages to open with you guys so I'm gonna pop you up here and get into them there we go you guys can see me sorry about the mess but we're looking at the stuff not me <laughs> so the first thing I wanted to show you guys was something I talked about back in my last vlog I think it was my Valentine's vlog and it was this bag, this vegan tanned crossbody, I can't get it out, bag from Watson and Wolf. I have been waiting for this for so long. That's the front of it. You can see there's the little detailing of the logo there. Other than that, it's pretty plain, which is just how I like it. It's just the perfect bag for going on walks. It's the perfect color. It will go with so much pop it on for you now so you guys can see I don't know I'm gonna have to stand all the way over there for you to see it <laughs> that doesn't really work let me just move you so you guys can see it's absolutely gorgeous it's obviously a vegan leather and it has a zip closure and then inside take the stuffing out you have this gorgeous green lining and a zip there, nice and simple. I'm gonna get so much use out of this. I'm so excited to add another bag to my vegan luxury bag collection. I want to build quite a collection eventually, but this is just ideal. 
So the next thing I want to show you guys is this little package from a brand called Day. I've mentioned them over on my Instagram in my stories. Those of you that have been following me for a while will know that whenever it's the time of the month, I live by CBD oil to get me through the pain and the cramps, etc. So Day brought out tampons infused with CBD, which are just game changers. What a great idea. I wish I thought of it. But this is another product from their range. It's the CBD balm. I've been looking forward to getting this because I am a huge fan of CBD and I'm a huge fan of this brand and their packaging. How lovely. Everything they send me is just so beautifully packaged and then it says rest and relaxation packed in a tin this balm contains concentrated levels 30 percent of our pure whole plant hemp extract with naturally occurring cbd 400 milligrams and a invigorating botanical blend of ginger and lemongrass so this is their balm which i'm guessing you can just rub wherever you want like it says on the jar like it says on the tin you get rest and relaxation Oh, that smells incredible. I can't wait to use it. So I really wanted to show you that brand because I'm just in love with it at the moment. Absolutely loving it. Next package is from Ren. And it's only one product, but I really wanted to show you guys because it's incredible. This is their Clean Jelly Oil Cleanser. I know so many of you guys have been asking about my skincare routine. I know I don't look the best today after my allergic reaction the other day, but I have been trying out products for years and this has just come out on top. It removes all of your makeup. You don't need a lot of product and it doesn't irritate the skin. So this is my staple cleansing makeup remover. It's amazing and I just had to show you guys, but like I mentioned in my last video, or the video before actually, my get to know me video, I will be doing a full skincare routine video with you guys to show you exactly what I'm using, how I use it, etc., etc. But I thought I'd give that a little mention. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys was a package from Aveda. Now I used to be a huge fan of Aveda uh, before I switched up all of my products, but they now have a vegan range, never tested on animals and never will. I am so happy because I used to love their products. So I have the Botanical Repair Strengthening Shampoo. I love the color of the packaging. I wanna dress in this color. And then we have the Botanical Repair Strengthening Leave-In Treatment, Plant Powered Damaged Repair. This is a leave-in treatment. So this is the entire Botanical Repair range. This is their strengthening conditioner. I'm so excited to try these. I will let you guys know how I get on. I'm currently in the middle of trying another shampoo that I have to say I'm in love with, but you'll have to wait for a reel to go up over on my Instagram to see what that is. That should be going up next week. This one is their intensive strengthening mask and that deeply repairs from the inside out. Lastly, this is their intensive strengthening mask. So there's a load of strengthening products here, which I definitely need. I will link everything in the description box below for you. Anything I mentioned in this video, of course, I will mention for you. It is time to get some work done, clean up the house, give it a tidy up before everyone gets home and make some dinner. So I will catch up with you guys in a bit. Good morning. I ended up not filming very much more last night because it got busy, it got dark and I got tired. So that was that but I'm picking up the camera today but only for a minute because I don't want this to go on for too long I don't want my vlogs to last the length of time but I just wanted to remind you guys that it is time to start sowing your seeds it's March and it's spring so I'm just getting my box out behind all of Tommy's stuff Tommy's stuff has just taken over Tommy can have as much stuff as he wants in all honesty, where is this box? Are they not these? Aha, uh -huh. I know, but we do have a box as well. So we have our seeds. Oh, so these are the seeds. If you guys watched my Italy vlog, we bought these seeds from the market in Ravello. They are the freshest seeds, but these seeds, I swear to God, I buy so many seeds in the UK. These Italian seeds are just amazing. They are so good, they're so strong, and they grow really good. Oh produce God, this is what we've got this, nice. this makes me so excited oh 
for the spring and the kitchen garden and the food. As we can see on the back, it tells us when we can start sowing the seeds. So we can already put uh, rock it out if we want. So I'm going to pop that here. These are the basil seeds and this is the Valentino basil, guys. It's amazing. It grows so big. The leaves are humongous. This is another great one. This is the um, Swiss chard. We still have it growing in the garden from last year. So that one we can pop out. So tomatoes we can start to sow. They're also non-GMO seeds. 100% natural, non-chemical. So make sure that you look for that when you're buying your seeds. So these, we will have to actually start getting the garden ready in the next few weeks to do so. So let, fingers crossed that it heats up because it's still cold out there. But we do have um, some tomatoes that need to be sown indoors. But yeah, guys, just a reminder to start looking at your seed packets, work out the plan for your kitchen garden for the next few months because if you don't do it now you're going to miss out and we don't want to miss out especially in the times we're in i will obviously do a vlog of the garden the before and after because right now it's looking an absolute mess thank you for being here this week guys and watching my video please remember to subscribe to my channel that way you won't miss a thing and if you want to keep up with me daily i'm over on instagram it's at honestly alessandra until next week guys look after yourselves and yeah bye guys